all right so right now i'm inside femora 10 and this is my example project you can see that uh, on the top track i have a screen recording video and uh, right here we have a background color so we is uh, in the media tab here so we can wrap any sample color to be in the background and at the bottom we have some sound effect uh, which is included in Wondershare Femora 10 alright and to create this third intro video it is very easy all you need is a screen recorder you can record your computer screen and then you can open Google search and record what you are typing on the screen and then you can edit uh, with Wondershare Femora 10 so I'm going to show you step by step uh, right so the first thing uh, we need to use the screen recorder so we're going to click here uh, at the record button and then uh, we can go ahead to record PC screen uh, you can click here and now uh, you need to open your web browser also okay so this is my web browser by the way I'm going to open Google so here uh, we have Google and uh, let's just uh, minimize the screen recorder so it is uh, right here uh, first, uh, firstly, we need to open Google Search first, and now I want to record this area. All right, and uh, then open the screen recorder. Open the recorder, and remember at the setting, uh, remember to disable the camera button here. All right, and you don't have to uh, to record your microphone also, so you can uh, disable the microphone. Then you can uh, click this button to start recording. Okay okay and now you can type whatever you want so I'm going to type how to create a search bar there question mark and then I'm going to hit Google search and that is done for this uh, for the recording uh, step okay so we are going to find the screen recorder here and then open the recorder and we can stop and now we can uh, we can close the screen recorder and uh, you can see we have a screen recording here uh, inside right inside Femora 10 okay so the first thing I want to uh, delete everything here and the first thing we want to have a background color right and we go to the media again and go to the sample color and then you can uh, select any color here to be the background by the way I'm going to use this one the deep blue I'm going to drag and drop it to the top track uh, to the bottom track and we have the deep blue and we can press this button okay so this is the screen recording that we are going to use by the way there's a mistake where when I uh, when I do my screen recording so I'm, I'm going to select the in point and out point for it so let's uh, play the video first and select the in point uh, where I start um, typing okay so it's maybe some somewhere here alright so at this button okay so starting from here so let's set an in point uh, for this and then play the video suit bar okay so when I when I press the third button I can stop so I, I will set an out point uh, let's select an out point and then I can wrap the video and put it on the onto a timeline and keep the project setting and view everything so now we have a short intro about 14 second 40 second intro video let's play the video now how to create a search bar search. okay so because of my typing speed is very slow so that's why the intro is uh, 40 seconds by the way if you are typing faster you can uh, make it shorter and the next thing uh, we want to apply a crop effect so that we can only see this part to do that we are going to uh, to go to the effect tab here and then at the recommended folder we can search for the crop effect uh, enter and now we have the crop effect here and we can drag and drop it directly to the video the screen recording video okay and now we are going to double click at the screen recording video 
and then go to video effect uh, here we have the video effect we can fire it and now we need to adjust the right the left and top and bottom of the crop effect so I'm going to adjust the left to this part and the right to this part and the top here I want to make it like this and the bottom okay very nice so I think it's nice by the way I want to have a, a drop shadow of the video so I'm going to uh, go back to here and enable the drop shadow here so the drop shadow you can adjust the distance the blur and the opacity also so for the distance I want I want to have it 2 and for the blurry I want to have 10 and then I'm going to press enter okay and here's a search intro video Oh, I think the, the first uh, three seconds is the, uh, we don't need the first three seconds. So I'm going to split it and I'm going to delete it. Uh, okay. And because uh, I just start typing here. So I want to have it fast. Okay. And I, I want to add a marker here so that uh, we know the, uh, that I finished typing. So the next, uh, the next thing I want to do is to add some sound effect. So again, we go back to the audio and then uh, we select um, uh, sound effect. And we have the computer keyboard number one here, uh, which is included in Wondershare Filmora 10. So we can drag and put it uh, here. And let's say, okay so continue we can put some more typing and more until the end of the sentence here okay and at this part and uh, we think it's finished okay and wait so at this part uh, we want to have a mouse, mouse click and we also uh, use the mouse click here also all right and now it finished and let's play the video to see how to create a third intro video very nice right so that is how you can create a third intro video using Wondershare Filmora 10. I hope this video is helpful for you. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.